murder people in all sorts of ways. Well, I knocked them on the head or threw them over a cliff and stabbed them and beheaded them, I think. <laughs> By definition, the category of a murder mystery, there has to be a murder. So I do it as a job to be done, a task. So I start with a single piece of paper and I put down on it, scribble, 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 scribble. To start with the images, I can take off from them. Christ almighty, said Jim Boggs, staring in horror at the floor, where a woman lay on her back, one side of her head crushed and bloody. It's Mrs. Heppelwhite. Only then did he see the stain. It was a long streak, as though something had been dragged the streak was somebody's lifeblood. I drop splashes of blood on the page, because you've got to, and let it drip along. And somebody comes along and tries to mop things up, straighten things out. The neighbors knew only that George kept the place tidy. Of course, his backyard was not exactly neat, because it was the graveyard of all those bloody shirts. It was okay. Next time he'd know where not to dig. There was plenty of room for more.